Find insight, guidance, and answers. And answers. Tune into Spirit with Radio Medium Laura Lee. Laura Lee. Lord Lee, tuning into Spirit for my special guest, Christopher. Hi, Christopher. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Where are you calling from? I'm calling from Portland, Oregon. Oh, nice. Christopher, I want to go to a female who comes to me first. And I have the sense that she might be appearing off to your left. But I want to confirm, are you right-handed? I am. Okay, so that to me, left side is maternal since your dominant hands right side i know that sounds crazy but that's how i get the sense of who's where and she also shares with me you had seen her shortly before her passing but not there exactly when she passed does that make sense yeah that sounds about right for the person i have in mind yeah okay and i feel like what she's sharing with me is there is some guilt that you were not there at that time during the transition. Do you understand? I do. Okay. And even though I say this, she might have been really good at guilt tripping. (laughs) (laughs) Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. (laughs) And she mentioned that to me because you might have addressed that issue with her in the past. Okay. But she wants to say it's quite all right because she wouldn't have been able to leave had you been there by her side. Okay? I hope you understand that. I do. Yeah. Okay. And I'm assuming this might be a mother connected to you. Uh, Well, she was a mother for sure. Yes. It's my great grandmother that I have in Uh, mind. Was there a Mimi associated to somebody else also in that family? There's a Mimi and a Mama. The Mimi is on the paternal side. And the first person to come to mind when you were talking yeah. was on the paternal side. I'm sorry. I might have more than one spirit here, okay? But the woman sure. I'm talking to, is she... We're talking about the same person, right? Well, now that I think about it, I'm remembering my mother called her Mima, which is kind of a cross between what, what I oh, call the one Ma. on the paternal end. And- I don't want to confuse the situation. But I felt like the one who says that you weren't there during the transition, but felt a little bit of guilt and you felt the guilt trip, she saw you as her baby. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. There's also, I'm understanding, were you an executor of an estate? Um, Of what there was, but it wasn't material. Okay. So that's an interesting question. I think that some knowledge and some feelings and things that I felt like I was given and passed on, if that makes any sense. Oh, okay. Because this comes up because I feel like whatever you passed on, I feel like there was a disagreement about the information or anything that was passed on. Do you understand what I'm getting here? I do. Okay. And it caused a rift and pain. That's my understanding. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I feel like that hasn't been healed yet. Is that correct in regards to this? For sure. I've thought about it recently even. Yes. Okay. And then that's why they're bringing it up. So I get the sense there's got to be some closure there because this is with a living person, correct? That's my understanding. Yes. And there has to be some closure. You have to address it. Because I'm understanding this is family, correct? Um, Yes. Yeah. It's family. Mm. I understand that there's got to be a bridge here. And I feel like this spirit that's coming through to talk to you about this is confirming this in order to find resolution promptly because it's going to benefit in the long run. Okay. Hmm. I also get somebody else who's over there. I want to say a brother, son, uncle as well associated. Does this make sense? Um, it makes sense in a way. I was kind of thinking that's who you're talking about right now with the, mm. the resolution and the passing on. And my father is one to come to mind. He wasn't in my life and maybe mm-hmm. felt more that he was something like that to me. Mm. And any one of the three, if that makes any mm-hmm. sense, than ever a father. Right. Well, I see a male that's over there. Did he pass before one of the mothers here? Because that's how I'm seeing him, kind of in the background. Yes. It's been a while. It's been quite some time. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, is there an anniversary or a significance about December associated with any of these parties involved here that we've connected to? Father's death, I believe, was late November, early December. I can't remember the exact. Okay, date, I so. get, I get December. Okay, so I just want to say that as a confirmation to my message because I feel like this is something that's a block. <laughs> I know it sounds very emotional, but it sounds like a block that's preventing you from moving forward. Okay. I hope that helps. Thank yeah. you, Christopher, for sharing your time with me. And if you'd like to be my special guest and receive a free reading, sign up at radiomediumlarley.com. And while you're there, thank you for subscribing, sharing, and following the show. It is free.